Today I wanted to talk about adding refrigerant to a system. Now, once it starts to get warm outside, springtime and summertime, everybody's calling because they don't, you know, their air conditioning is not working. So we're going to have to add refrigerant to the system at some point. Remember, before you add refrigerant, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to find the leak and repair the leak. You're supposed to find and repair the leaks. But when it's time to charge the system, if you just need to add a little bit of refrigerant to it, so how are you going to do this? Most refrigerants nowadays, they're blends. Not like the good old days when we used R22 all the time, and we could charge it as a liquid or we can charge it as a vapor. Well, nowadays everything's a blend, so they're telling us that we have to add refrigerant as a liquid, as a liquid. So in other words, the bottle has to be turned upside down. You can't have the bottle right side up because then you're going to get gas coming out of it. The bottle has to be upside down. So when that happens and you put refrigerant, that liquid refrigerant into the suction line, because remember, as the unit is running, you're going to add the refrigerant onto the suction line. If you try to add it to the high side, it's not going to go in because the pressure is higher on the high side than it is in the bottle. So we want to add it onto the low side. And that, of course, goes directly to the compressor, to the suction side of the compressor. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our manifold set. We take the manifold set and we hook up, of course, the blue to the low side, the red to the high side. Or in other words, the blue, we hook it up to the line that has the black insulation on it and the red line or the red hose, we're going to hook it up to the liquid line, that little skinny line that is not insulated. Now, the trick about this is that once you open up, once you get everything set up, and, oh, before I forget, don't forget to purge your hoses. you got to get that air out of the system, so you're going to crack those the hoses a little bit, and you're going to hear that pssst. Now, you'd want to do that very, very, just very gently and really quick, because that gets all of the air out of there. If not, what are you gonna do? You're gonna send that air and moisture that's in the system or that's in the hoses into the system and you contaminate it. So we wanna make sure that we purge the hoses, we go pssst, pssst, and we get the air out of there. And that's what they call de minimis, a de minimis amount. Now, once we do that and we're ready to add refrigerant, what are we gonna do? We're going to take the gauge like this, and as the system is running, we're going to see that this is pointing to, I don't know, let's say 60 PSIG. I'm just making these numbers up, but let's say 60. So what we're going to do is we're going to crack open. We're not going to open it up fully, but we're going to open up the valve that's on the blue side or the blue hose. We're going to crack it just a little bit. When we do that, we're going to bring this pressure, if this is, as for example, 60, we want to bring this pressure to maybe, let's say, 80 PSIG. We're going to crack it just enough to bring it up to about 80. And we're going to hold it there for about, let's say, 30 seconds. So we're putting refrigerant in there, putting refrigerant in there, and then we close it off. Once we close it off, we will see that this now is not going to be at 60 anymore, but let's say it's going to be at around 70. So then you crack it again, but now you're going to bring this pressure from 70, you're going to bring it on up to, let's say, 90. You hold it again for about 30 seconds, and what you're doing is you're throttling it. You're using your gauges as a throttling valve. So now as it goes through, right there where you, the valve is, you're creating a pressure drop. Because you're creating a pressure drop, it's flashing off and going into, into the system as a mist or as a gas. But it's going to be the correct percentages. It will be the correct percentages. If we were to look at a set of gauges, what I'm talking about is right here, since you're cracking this blue one here, you're using this as a metering device. When you do that, you're going to have refrigerant coming in here as 100% liquid. Here, you're flashing it off, and it's going to be going into the system as a mist or as a vapor. 
but it will be the correct percentage. So that's what happens when you're cracking it. So now, after you held it there for about 30 seconds, you shut it off, and you will see that the pressure now will be to about 80. So you want to keep adding refrigerant this way until this pressure reaches whatever your desired pressure might be. Let's say, for example, on a 410A system, for a 40 degree coil, you're going to need approximately 118, 118, 119 PSIG, somewhere around there. So you're going to keep doing this until you get the correct pressure. Like I said, approximately 118 on your 410A systems. So again, this is one quick way of charging your system, but remember, you want to crack it. You want to crack that valve. You don't want to open it all the way because if you open it all the way, what's going to happen is you're going to, you're going to get all that liquid going to your compressor and your compressor is going to lock up on you and you just destroy the compressor. How do I know this? Because I have seen people do this. I've always been very careful not to do this, but I was working with a friend of mine who did this and the compressor actually locked up right in front of our eyes. So please keep this in mind. My name is Julio, Air Con Academy. Please follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. If you have any suggestions for videos, please let me know. Send me a message and I'll see what I can do about getting them on for you. Thank you.